This is Mike Bot. Today, I'm going to be doing a video that's a little bit different than usual, and it's going to be actually on this Anchor Make Slicer, but specifically for PetG settings. A ton of people are having a lot of issues with PetG, so um, I've been experimenting with it for the last couple of days since I got my printer. I've had successful prints, not the prettiest looking prints or the best prints, but decent prints overall, considering uh, I'm printing at 100 MMS. Um, you can't print faster than that with PetG on the Anchor Make. I'll show you why after, with my experience at least. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go through all the settings, show you what I've done, what my prints look like, uh, where I see issues, how they can be improved. And uh, for the record, I'm using the Overture PetG uh, gray material for these prints. So basically, I've gone ahead and created a rough profile here, which didn't save apparently. So we'll just go to PetG and I'll go through all the settings from scratch. So first things first, resolution. I have not touched anything as far as resolution has gone, but you can skim over it to make sure it kind of looks like uh, uh, my, the settings that I kind of have by default. It should be the same thing for you. And I'll just minimize that. So quality, I'm going with 0 0.2, 0 0.4 nozzle, um, all defaults again. Walls, so for walls, I went 2.4. I like thicker walls, and I usually do alternate extra walls, especially when it's Petchy. I'm using Petchy, there's a reason I'm using Petchy. So I go six wall line count, alternate extra walls. And that's basically it for the settings here, other than if you want to change your Z seam alignment or your corner preference. Next is top bottom. I went 1.2. I know this seems like very basic stuff at the moment, but I'll get to the point shortly. Actually, I don't think I enabled ironing for Petchy. And that way it saves... Um, the nozzle from going over the print a few times. You can if you want, but just for this demo, I'm not turning it on. Now infill, I went 20% triangles and I connected the infill lines. And that's basically it for infill. Material, I did not touch that tab, speed. So it says here, uh, inner wall speed 100, infill speed 100. Travel speed 250. This actually, uh, the travel speed doesn't matter. It's the print speed that makes a difference. So I'll go with 100 and it slows down the print. Uh, when I did my prints, I did them at the default. So if you bring it down to 100, it'll make it a little bit uh, cleaner than my prints came out basically. I know these are really basic things. You're probably looking at yourself saying, what do I need? Uh, this information for blah, blah, blah. But some people might find this useful. I also enabled jerk control. Uh, and that's also jerk control for comments. Um, acceleration, you can turn it on, but I didn't for Petchy. Cooling has to be off, no matter what, has to be off. You can't print with a fan on with Petchy. It'll be a disaster. I've had nonstop issues. And then as far as supports go, it depends on your print. So enable it and make sure the supports are touching build plate. Tree is usually more efficient. And I usually go 1%. And this makes the support super easy to remove. Whether it's pet G, PLA, silk, TPU, whatever. These are my settings for supports. And they've worked wonders for me. And then build plate adhesion, I go with skirt. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for the settings that I go through. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw a print. I'm going to go ahead and throw an STL in here just for uh, fun, just to show you the, the how it generates it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up compartment here because this is one of the things I printed. So when I printed this, I printed it a lot faster than the settings I just went over. So basically, I'm just going to hit slice here. When I printed this initially, it was four and a half hours with the reduced speed, which would give a lot cleaner of a print. It's probably going to be closer to six hours, I'm assuming. We will see in just a second here. Oh, three hours. Okay. So it's three hours to print this, apparently. Uh, then I must be mistaken. It must have only been two hours when I printed it because I don't uh, 
let me just think for a sec. When I printed mine, it was two hours, sorry, not four hours. It took two hours to print it. So uh, yeah, with a little bit slower setting, we're at uh, three hours, which is not bad considering that I've reduced the speed significantly here to 100. And then we will just go through the preview. You wanna see travel, Z slap. Um, so I, uh, oh, I see. I've also included support. So when I printed this, I didn't print it with support. So when you see the images at the end of this video, I printed it without supports and they came out fairly clean, not uh, like a little blobby. I would have used supports if I could go back and do it again, which I might, but uh, yeah. So with supports, you won't see the issues that you're seeing with uh, my print. Um, I also printed the top at 250 MMS and I'll show you uh, halfway through it was 100, then near the end it was to 250 and I'll show you what happens in the picture and I'll explain it in the picture itself. So uh, basically what I wanted to show here, so these are the travel lines. Um, so when the nozzle's traveling, this is basically the blue is what it shows here. I know a lot of people don't know how to use a slicer yet. I'm still learning it myself. Uh, the skin is green. Everything is labeled in colors, which is nice. Um, the Z slap or Z lap, sorry, that's where the Z overlaps. Uh, there it is. So you can see it right here. Sometimes that might create little zits in your print. I hate the way the slicer turns. It's annoying. Anyone else have this issue? What's AI? Yeah. So yeah, anyway, um, I, I like the way Cura turns and stuff. You can zoom in and it's right click on the mouse to kind of do your thing. Oh my God, it's giving me a headache. Okay, let me zoom in. There we go. So there's what the print should look like when it's done. So I will reprint this at some point. But for now, this is just a basic uh, pet G settings, what I'm using, what works for me. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Uh, and then uh, here are the images, basically. And uh, we'll go through the images one by one. I'll tell you where I see issues and where I'm going to fix it next time. But give these settings a shot. Leave it a comment below. Let me know if they worked for you. If they didn't, I can tweak them again and try again. Or you can tweak them and let me know what you did. All right. So I'm going to just start with the quick time lapse here. So as you can see, there's the top and there's the bottom time lapses of the print. So basically, uh, we'll start with the bottom here. So the bottom, as you can see, there's a bit of stringing, bit of zits, not too bad. The speed was good. I would have added supports if I could have, because as you can see in the back where the hinge is, it's a little uh, blobby, but it's actually not bad overall. Uh, the top is where the issues actually are. So the top is because I sped it up halfway through, uh, especially with the lock there. You can see the big little blob. That's when I went to 250 MMS. I can't enable cooling with PETG. When you enable cooling with PETG, it causes clogs guaranteed. So basically you want to print slow and you want to give each layer a chance to cool in between. Uh, so that's basically for that part of it. And then uh, for the second print here, it's basically a pencil holder. So there's the time lapse of it. And uh, as you can see, the print came out fairly well. Uh, the top of it is not perfect uh that's because i did not enable ironing i'm sure if i enabled ironing it, the top would have been nice and clean but otherwise uh the settings you just saw use those and you'll get similar results as you did with the pencil uh, holder you're looking at right now so not bad overall so if you have any questions or comments please leave them below if you haven't done so already please hit that like button subscribe to my channel it's greatly appreciated if you do that's it for today thank you all for watching mike bot out